Hey everyone, we're at the G-Skill booth now at Computex 2019. I've got two pretty cool things here. One of them, you may not have seen the show, and it's an external voltage controller, but it does a few other things too. This is from Elmore, one of the uh, extreme overclockers who used to work at Asus up until recently. So you could use this to do something like external BIOS, like VBIOS flash or voltage control. Uh, we'll talk about that a bit more later. There's also the ice cube that he's done, which is sort of a case mod, it's a case fabrication really. Before that, this video is brought to you by Thermaltake C360 DDC hard tubing water cooling kit. If you're ready to dip your toes into the water and build your first open loop cooling system, the Thermaltake C360 DDC hard tubing kit comes with all of the components you need. The kit includes a 360 millimeter radiator, three 120 ARGB fans, a copper W4 ARGB water block for the CPU, a pump and res DDC combo, and all the fittings needed to build a full CPU open loop. Learn more at the link in the description below. The way this works is it builds a uh, basically a, a liquid nitrogen intake that turns into a nitrogen gas, and then you have a cooling system inside that's semi-passive. But what's really happening here is there's a transfer hose coming out of an LN2 tank. It's about a 180 liter tank. It's pretty standard. And uh, I think over the past, since the beginning of the day, it's 5 p.m. now, so since like 9 a.m., the tank has used about 110 liters, maybe maybe 100 liters. So uh, he's gone through a lot of it. There's, maybe, there's not much left at this point. So for one day cooling, you end up with this box sustained at, well, it's currently at minus 25, but I think in Roman's video, it was much lower than that when we did a video with him on his channel. And the intake comes into the bottom box. The bottom box is a five millimeter thick aluminum wall on all sides. Inside of that box, can't see it in footage, but there's another box. That one, the LNT transfers into the box and then evaporates and comes up to cool the system. So the way it transfers, transfer hose at the end of it has that uh, hexagon nozzle that we've shown in our videos in the past. That is fitted to basically a uh, water cooling fitting and then that feeds into a thick hose. So it's an insulating material like you might use in an automotive application, feeds into a hose uh, and then comes out into the inner box, the inner chamber. And as it evaporates, you get the cool gas coming up directly under the motherboard. So motherboard's flat here. There's a hole in the middle of the box under the CPU socket. So from that hole comes up the nitrogen gas as the LN2 evaporates and that cools the whole system by filling the cube. Uh, and then there's the heat sink tower cooler that has a fan blowing, but it's it's not like to blow the heat off the fin stack because when you're this cold, it's it's not really, it's pointless. Uh, it's actually just to circulate the air so or the gas so that it can come out down this hard tubing hose that sticks up to the top, comes out here, and then comes out of the sides of the case. And you can actually feel the cool air coming out of the box. So uh, other than that, I mean, it's got two um, acrylic cubes that are sandwiched together. And that's just because with LN2 cooling, you start dealing with things like condensation and ice buildup and uh, making sure you can contain the gas without just like freezing everything over. And this took about a week, a full week of work for Elmore to build. And it was uh, not easy work because he had to source parts, he had to make changes, uh, had you probably ran into a few mistakes along the way. Like for example, he was telling me that if it weren't um, evaporating properly in the lower chamber, like if you just had the liquid nitrogen buildup and it weren't evaporating ever, then you'd end up eventually bubbling up into the box. But uh, I don't know if that actually happened. He didn't tell me. I'm guessing no. It seems like he, he was aware of this concern before getting into it. So that's the ice cube. It's just cool. I mean, this is literally, I guess. It's, it's obviously not like a product. It's like a, a cool tech demo of uh, liquid nitrogen at the G-Skill booth where they're doing a bunch of overclocking competition anyway. So very interesting to see and different application of LN2. Reminds us a bit of the RoboClocker from Vince from Kingpin last year, except it's uh, less Robo and more just LN2 gas. I mean, no one's standing here. It's been running more or less on its own. This is the, the EVC2. So this will be available on Elmore's website. It's elmorelabs.com. It's not up yet. should be up uh, probably within the next maybe month or so. Um, he's not 100% final on the release date yet, but this is something we could have used a lot in the past. Uh, so it does a lot of different things. One of them is it can do an external BIOS flash. So if you need to externally flash your video card or your motherboard, maybe you don't have like, uh, for example, the software tools to do it just yet. If you have a pre-release review sample of a card or uh, more realistically, if you like blow up your BIOS or something and need, a, need to flash on another one. But um, yeah, so EVC2 can also hook into the board and give you like 
power readings or voltage readings. You can hook into a GPU and do external voltage control for the GPU, which is actually what Rowan did uh, originally in like the RIP GN thing before he did the most recent one, and maybe even the most recent one, but he hooked into it uh, an EVC controller and control the voltage directly so that he could beat our scores. So anyway, EVC2 will be on elmorelabs.com. This is actually one of the things that I found more interesting at the show because like a small product by one guy, by Elmore, that has a lot of functional uses uh, that we can apply in our own lab. So I find that pretty exciting and look forward to trying it out. That's it for this video though. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. Go to patreon.com slash gamersnexus. I'll see you all next time.